Hey guys, welcome back to more WWE 2K24, my rise. Hope you guys are ready. This We almost had things under control, but then we didn't as GM. We got fired from being GM, but now we're getting the women's title shot. Against Bianca. We're gonna beat Bianca. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add. The time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now. After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, Let's this woman just Are you kidding me? Coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This apparently is just what you do playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Oh. That's Bailey's music, but where is she? He's gonna be behind me. Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Can Are you kidding me? Wait, this is not a match. From the back. This is an official match. No, it is Here not. I have to face Bianca Belair. This is not an official match. No. I was unring this bell. Unring this bell. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving <laughs> coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The women's world champion is the real winner here. Being carried around with ease. Get out of my ring. Now. No way. High wrist cross body. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Got her. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. Mm. That's what that was. Oops. 
and gets tossed back into the mat. Yeah. No, you don't. I kick you. Managing his onslaught. Bailey's being cut off at every pass. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Oof. So much pride. So much resiliency no. on display. One response after another. Back and forth we go. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Each exchange just sapping the energy ah. from these two. The willpower. The sheer guts of these two. There's Damn the press it. Barely in total control. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Boom. Uh-oh. No. Responds with a counter. Flatliner. Face first. She's looking for the win. And two. That is just pure instinct at this point. And now Bailey's being measured. Yeah. Come here. Perched on the shoulders. Does that finish Bailey off? Yes. The cover. And it oh, it does. A victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. With that crutch. Come on. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't God done. God damn it. No. Sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point that was now. Nothing. And we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Yeah, no. This is not over. Rescheduled. Fuck's sake. How many times is this match going to get rescheduled? Besides, any other match, like I say, I'm not a fan of. Or her crutch. You want my advice? Don't feed the troll. Whether she likes it or not, you're the number one contender, and I'm the champ. She's not in charge here. Say the word, and you'll get your opportunity next week. Word, word. I'm definitely saying the word. That's on. I beat you, but it's on. See you at Raw. Championship. Who's here? Hey! Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. Haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here, how are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me, but I was probably just being flippant being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. 
And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book, but then shut her out of? I never I said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because no. I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then I thought, hmm, I in it. who else can I give credit to on her for team. setting up this awesome main event? How many times you have to it worked out this for through. you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you. To make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Yeah. I ain't winning the title shots. It's gonna rob me. Imagine this My Rise ends on Raw. It's not going to end on Raw. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. There's her music. It's Where's the fucking music? Opponent. Are you fucking... Oh, She's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show when suddenly out of nowhere three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up excited to meet it. the women's world champion and you know how bianca is she wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph how those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight. We may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? <laughs> wow. What a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. But oh, oh, you no. get your ass down it's here. Not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Oh, Liv. Oh, oh God, Christ. And we're getting word from the truck. Oh, I do have this year with all the fuck. <laughs> The movie gimmick, the brutality gimmick, fucking devil gimmick. Jesus. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Trying to see that Oscar's not a fucking zombie anymore. The limb is what isn't supposed to be on raw. And I'm surprised they let Rhea out of the hospital. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sake, catch up, Byron. Is this a four-way or a three-way? Four-way. Four contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history with Attempt. these three other superstars. I'm just wondering after all these false starts, if Cap will ever make it to her title match with the Octagon. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. Close line to the back of the net. Fuck off. Right to the kidneys from behind. German suplex. 
But that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Yeah, no. You ain't coming anywhere close to me. Doing getting any offense on me, Asuka. We ain't doing this shit. I earned my opportunity. Places are right in the corner. Close line in the corner. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. All right, Asuka, prepare to die. Don't do this. Don't do it! Die. No, fuss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. And now she's getting back into the ring. Who wants some? Fuck. She's staying elusive. Ooh. But now Rip. Rhea! She's got it. For that. And all of Ripley's ring experience is being tested a bit here. Yeah, double arm lock song. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Sit down, power bomb. Two count. She was close to the end there. No celebrations yet. Man, just a there we go. Come on, Rhea. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Shit. Oh, roundhouse kick. Yeah. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. God damn it, Rhea. Tossed into the corner. This competitor has such a deep arsenal. We're about to see more. She got her down. Is this it? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a second. Gets the shoulder up well. What's it going to take? Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. She's forced onto the defensive now. Thunder Club comes down. Very effective. There we go. Shoulder tackle. Rip cool. Lariat. Ref. Looking for the victory. And a kick out at only one. Damn it. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? I don't know. All right, I'll explain to you what that feels like. Damn it. Shot break and a kidney. Oh, my God. Oh, Ow. Suplex. Oh, that didn't go as Asuka designed. Oh, what a shot. Ha! Ah, ha! Uh -huh. I caught you! Gets oh, fuck! Oh, wait, the door is down. Could she finally put this away? Kicks out before one. Incredible Damn it. power to kick out at just one. Great. Kick to the gut. Here Wait. comes Riptide. I think Ripley can end this. Oscar. Oh. Yeah, you better kick out. She kicks out with force. Thank you. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. Now, wait, 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 wait. Oscar with the Oscar lock. The Oscar lock. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Get me out. 
Fuck. Uh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. Thanks, Rhea. She's going for it. This could be. And still in this. Fuck. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Jet. She said flying into the corner. No. Uh -oh, Why won't it let me reverse anything? This is actual bullshit, Shotzi. Shotzi. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was Just way slap too her. willing what to are you accommodate doing? your new itinerary. Just slap you know, her! They really <laughs> should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely yes. not. That is They'd exactly never what you want to do. Back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. Good. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on, but only because there's no way I lose. I swear, if they... If they do something, and it forces me to lose, do you know how pissed I'll be? If it forces me to lose? No, we're skipping all entrances. I want to see what this objective says. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, shot. Defeat shot. Thank Christ! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Which goes back even further to the independent scene. It's a long standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long time battle. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. <laughs> From the outside, that was awesome. And just like that, we kicked the tempo up a notch. All sky were no DQ. The steel chair never as innocent as it looks. Oh, tossing chairs like it's hardcore heaven. Damn straight. Steel this is what you are missing in TBD, Shotzi. Continuous rush on Shotzi here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Going up. Uh -oh. oh, she's fighting out of it. Fighting out. To the face. Oh, God. No, you don't get to sell. What? Yeah. 
She adjusts it and reverses it. And a kick. All the momentum is swung to her favor. Maintain the aggression. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Rip this off. Uh-oh. We're in the table. Yeah, I gotta take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Yeah. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, my God. Getting dangerously oh. close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Whoa, look out. Adrenaline can make you do sure crazy ass off. things. Exhibit A right there. Oh, no. She's got her on our announce table. This is not going to... Standing precariously on the announce desk. Suplex from the announce desk onto the floor. There. A chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. I want you to get your ass up, Shotzi. Watch out. Shotzi Jesus. Steps like they're nothing. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Come on. Hoist it up. Feature. Shotzi's it's over. Now count everything. One, two, three. After years of antagonism, Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear there we go. From Bianca Belair. A women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired oh, as Shotzi. Oh, that's the belt you have. Okay. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait shake for a match. Shake her She's hand. jump off right here. I like Bianca. I'll shake her hand. It's finally happening. The number one contender and the women's world champion will finally go one on one. It's about darn time. When WrestleMania that championship, and I can't wait to see on Raw. Are we about to end this whole thing? Story complete. One last shotzi. All right, let's do this, Bianca. Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go. But so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congregita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you, too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy with how I came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match about whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No. Well, not exactly. 
Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. It's like You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, <laughs> it might go to. If Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go two. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that. If we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure, you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about, what about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing. And whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king. Ah. It's not gonna get right into the match, right? Okay. This is where we're gonna end off here tonight. Hope you guys are okay with it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!